All right, we got our bleeder valves open, have the recirc line. This is just a regular like half inch hose, just fits over there. I didn't get the quick connect. So we've got those open. I have the port, the fill port open. Here's the tube, there's our fluid, and we're gonna start filling. Let's get to it. Here we are adding the fuel to our helm pump. Got my helpers over here helping me out with that, checking the fluid in the back and spin the wheel and watching the fluid go through the, the line. They had a lot of fun with this. It took a while, but they really enjoyed it. It's kind of interesting how this process works. You can see, even though it's sped up, all the air coming out of the helm pump as you, you know, rotate one direction, pause, and then let it fill back up again. Pretty interesting, actually. Interesting and very, very crazy how simple this whole process is. As you can see here, as I continue to progress forward, the fluid begins to turn like a neon yellow color. I'm not sure what's, what that's all about. I tried to Google that, see what's going on, and figure out why I was doing that. I'm assuming it's based on the air in the line and just mixing with the fluid. The fluid's already kind of like a pastel, very, very light yellow, but more on the clearish yellow side. And didn't seem to mess up the functionality of the actual steering itself, but we'll see what happens whenever I go back to check it again after it's been sitting for a few days. Pulling everything off here to check our steering. Here we are moving our engine outboard back and forth. It seems to be doing okay. It feels good, but I feel like it's kind of laggy and some turns took longer for it to move than others. So I decided to hook everything back up and give it one more run through and go a little bit slower and a little bit more. You'll see in just a second about half turns on the wheel opposed to doing full rotations. Just to go slow, let each of the cylinders inside the helm pump pump out. And there's like, it's hard to tell in this, but it's sped up like I mentioned. But you can see a couple bubbles that were popping out here and there. And of course, I'm clearing out the lines that it clearing out the air that I just put back in the system from attaching the crossover tube at the back by the outboard. Disconnected everything and it didn't seem very smooth. So I put it back, hooked it back all up, hooked it all back up. Just gonna run through it again. I'm actually really impressed with the hydraulic turning setup on this on boats. I, this is the first time I've ever used it. My previous boat was the traditional cable linkages and it worked pretty well, but this is a lot smoother and a lot, very nice. It, it feels really good whenever I steer it and the outboard actually turns. It's just a whole smoother setup. And so far it's fairly easy to maintain. I mean, you just add the fluid and bleed it. If you, it seems like it's getting kind of sloppy, you do this right here, you bleed it, add more fuel, move forward. Uh, the only thing is, is that they do go out, they are pretty expensive, but the rebuild kits are pretty reasonable. But so far, so good. I'm, uh, I'm a fan of hydraulic steering on boats. You can see here, I'm doing like little quarter turns here and there, and I'm watching these little bitty air bubbles coming out of the fluid and just really taking taking it slow allowing every cylinder within the helm pump to pump out and just get little bubbles here and there out of the whole system okay many bubbles going really slow too and i think we're good <clears throat> I don't like the color of this stuff. It looks creamy. Um, for now, we'll see. I got another bottle here. We might change it out and flush the system. But I already flushed out most of it. I'm gonna let it calm down and see what happens. But it should be okay. <clears throat> yeah, the color of the fluid really does concern me a lot. 
if you guys have any information on this or something drop me a note drop me a comment below let me know what you know what you know my google search was uh not very successful and i just have a feeling that there's a lot of a lot of air in the system mixing with the with the fluid so i've unhooked my cable my line back here and closed the bleeders off and now i'm just recircling again Ready? Alright guys, that's it. Here is that's a the video on how to set up and bleed your C Star system. <clears throat> As I mentioned before, the old helm pump had water in it and I pulled it out, dropped the hoses out. I went back here and I had my wife hold the tubes into it. I don't know if you see it, there's a jug out there in the garage. But I was manually myself pushing the motor back and forth to clear out junk in the lines um we replaced the seals here got a lot of junk out of there there's a lot of water in there too i pulled that out the piston looks great it's in great shape replaced the seals back here bled it out i don't like the color it's bright yellow it's kind of weird but um we'll see what happens i have another quart just in case to bleed it out, do it again, and flush it out if we have to, but I think we'll be okay. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed these videos. This is how you replace your helm pump, take apart your other one, troubleshoot it. Um, if you guys have any knowledge on finding bearings for old helms for these sea stars, let me know, because that one can be rebuilt. Just gotta get the bearings. I tried to find them, couldn't do it. All right, guys. Another star. Another update on the Pro ProMaster. Stem coming out next. We have a lot of stuff coming for parts for the engine. Get it running good. Next after that, we're gonna get the uh, trailer fixed up to get it legal on the road. And we're gonna water test this thing. We're gonna cruise it. We're gonna today though. Next time. Peace.